Hey everyone, Nick Brick here with a Halo build. A plasma weapon symbolic of an elite's honor, here is the Lego Energy Sword from Halo. In Halo's lore, the Energy Sword is a covenant weapon wielded by elite warriors and is believed to be a holy weapon. Twin plasma blades ignite from the hilt. In gameplay, the sword appears in every Halo game except for ODST, and is playable in every Halo game that it appears in except for the first. It has two slashes, a quick slash with the melee button, and a lunging slash with the fire button. The LEGO Energy Sword is 41 and a half inches long, and weighs 6 pounds. Additionally, no glue, or tape, or non-LEGO framework were used. Kid you not, it's pure LEGO. I'm just gonna get this out of the way early in the video. This sword is uncomfortably heavy, and incredibly unbalanced, especially as a one-handed sword. I'll show as much as possible with the sword in hand, but a lot of the detail will be shown on its stand. That's not to say it isn't sturdy, it really is. You can still slash and jab with it. You'll notice though that the blades kind of sway. Although they do that, they shouldn't break off. I reinforce the main weak points at its connection to the hilt. Boom, engineering. I guess that concludes the functions, but hey, what else can you really do with a sword? Anyway, let's move on to the details, both artistic and structural. The colors and the blade shape were based on the Halo 2 Classic Sword. I actually like the smoother curved shape of the Halo 2 Sword over the more angular blades in the later games. Also, the pink edge around a clear and blue blade is such a nice contrast. It's also a bit cheaper that way, and to be honest, that kind of influenced the decision. Translucent blue plates are... they're not cheap on Bricklink. Along the sides of the blade are tiles over white plates. Since it would also be pretty difficult to light this up with LEDs, backing translucent tiles with white was the next best solution. To simulate the look of plasma energy flowing from hilt to tip, two types of 1x1 round tiles were used. Half of them are this trans blue with glitter, and half are this milky white with glitter. They come from the LEGO Dots packs. Totally unrelated, what am I going to do with all these emojis? <laughs> the areas that are tiled are actually also where the skeleton of this build is. My usual structural technique of using brackets held together with plates and tiles was also used here. The weight and length of the blades take a toll on the skeleton, which also passes through the hilt. But even though it bends and sways, it won't break easily. Speaking of the hilt, that is the most technical looking detail on the entire build. I based the detail on my LEGO hilt primarily on Halo Reach. The hilt in game has a much more curved shape to it, but I straightened it out to be able to take the brackets and plates skeleton better. And here's a banana for scale, but in addition to the LEGO banana, I have another object for comparison. It's a pretty obvious one if you follow LEGO's competitors. Mega Constructs made an official model based on the Halo Infinite Sword. As noted in their own product video, it's meant to be half scale. Compared to my model, which is still short of full scale itself, you can see it's absolutely blown away in size. That said, I have to give Mega Constructs credit where it's due. Their model is much easier to slash. That and is significantly cheaper. You don't want to know how much parts of my LEGO model cost. Let's just say mine uses at least eight times as many parts. Overall, while this model is very, very difficult to wield properly, I'm still pleased with the resulting model. Working with translucent parts at a grand scale and making it all hold together is a significant challenge to my engineering knowledge, as is building a Covenant weapon with LEGO. I hope this isn't the last LEGO Covenant weapon from Halo you'll see from me. Subscribe for more LEGO gaming builds. Also, like, comment, and share if you enjoyed the LEGO Covenant Energy Sword from Halo.